you know, you're one of the few artists that I could think of who, you know, you dropped this record and you, and you came through with this, you know, this image and this persona and, um, you know, obviously like you didn't know the fucking future. Like there, there could have been no possible way that you would have seen or understood or known like the way that it was all going to plan out. But it, it seemed like after kind of building up unintentionally this mystique that, you know, as you kind of say, people were kind of taking this, these implications off it and saying, Hey, let's go get fucked up. Let's do this. Let, let's do that. And sort of having this understanding of you based off of what they were reading in the music, you then had to be on that, like almost like buck that expectation and try to change that perception of yourself with people. And, um, you know, I mean, like what, what, what exactly, I guess, was kind of that, that realization point for you that you needed to kind of like not clean yourself up per se, but sort of like remind people, Hey, like, you know, th this, this is sort of like a cautionary tale here. I'm trying to like, you know, relay some information to you and kind of, you know, give you my experiences, not encourage you to do what I'm doing. I don't know. Cause, um, I don't think nothing to be hmm. <laughs> like nothing really like I had like a real bad situation with lean and I was like fucked up then you know I got off that shit but it's like um you know like even I don't know <coughs> man, everybody has their vices you know hmm. sometimes so I'm not gonna see here like because a lot of people the craziest shit is with the you know what I'm saying album and everybody was like oh Danny Brown's so clean and all this that I was the most fucked up time of my life <laughs> If I want to be honest with y'all, I was fucked up then. Like now, me moving to Texas now, I'm getting a little more healthier now and shit. But yeah, man. So, you you know, people have their own personal problems and shit like that. You know, that's all. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Like I say, you say something that happened that made me, I mean, I mean, the Mac Miller thing definitely hit me really hard because he, you know, me and Mac Miller had our little things, you know, back in the day. But, you know, through you know mutual friends schoolboy q you know we got cool and stuff and then um like right before i remember one day um i was at the, i was in la and i was leaving and my flight got canceled i mean my flight got canceled i was like fuck guess i'm stuck in la i tweeted it and then he just hit me up instantly like yo i'm in the studio pull up pull up i was like fuck it hell yeah I'm, so i got me a hotel room i get to the hotel room you know put my shit down get an uber go straight to the studio I get to the studio and he just got me outside knocking on the door for like a half an hour or some shit. So I was like, fuck that shit. So I just got in the Uber and left back, went to the hotel room. So I was pissed. I was like, fuck Mac Miller at that time. I wasn't fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, cause made me pull up to the studio, answer the door, but then he ended up calling me that night. Like my bad, I was making the beat. It was too loud. I didn't hear the door. You know, he probably was doing whatever. But then um, like right, like the, literally like um, he had hit me up. And he was just like the week of when he passed and he was like, man, you know, do we got any problems? We cool. You know, we squashed everything. It's cool. He's like, man, you should come out to LA, make music. And the day I was supposed to go out there is the day he died. Mm -hmm. And the only reason that I didn't go out there is because I was in the car when they announced it. So it was just like, fuck, you know? So I think, yeah, that was a, definitely a cautionary tale for me. Cause every time I feel like stuff is going a little too far, I think about him. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching this interview clip over on TND Streams. To see the full interview, click on the video link next to my head or down below, or hit up the link to subscribe to the channel or see our Patreon page to support what we do and get some extra bonus monthly content in the process. Uh, Anthony Fantano, forever.